into the middle of the night. Darling, don't you know that I'll never get over you, yeah. Cinnamon, don't remember what's wrong or right. It's just a feeling that'll help me get through. What's up, everybody? So, um, I am taking a little break from my daily duties. When I'm not touring, I am looking up opportunities for myself. I'm responding to emails. I'm writing songs <laughs> for my upcoming collaborations. I'm writing songs with various producers to be sent off to other artists, to be considered for their upcoming projects. I uh, recently, maybe three or four months ago, started teaching English part-time, which has been great uh, because it's just enough. I'm doing it like two days a week for a few hours, <clears throat> and it's paying the majority of my bills, so God is great. And quiet as it's kept. <laughs> Lots of people, lots of artists, lots of, even some kind of well-known people have day jobs, but they don't talk about it because they don't want you to think that. But anybody out there who is an artist or striving to be an artist or who dreams to be an artist, don't feel bad if you have a day job. I taught uh, Spanish for many, many years. I was an interpreter, I was a translator, and I still do some of those things on the side um, to make some extra money. Hallelujah! Because you don't get calls every single week, every single day to do concerts and to do tours um, unless you're like a really, really big star. And um, if you're in the mid-range, you probably work regularly as well on the live circuit, but if you're not, and you're striving to get to that place, you have to do what you have to do to keep some food in your mouth. <laughs> so, a lot of times when I think about my journey, it's, um, you think about things that you wish you would have done. I wish I would have gotten a degree in music. I'm not saying I regret not getting one, because I'm grateful that I have a degree in something else <laughs> that I can find a job in. Um, I... And I love what I did. I did my degrees in Spanish. I have a bachelor's degree and I have a master's degree in Spanish. And I love Spanish. I love teaching Spanish. I love speaking Spanish. I love um, speaking foreign languages. So I speak French, um, now German, and some French Creole, and a little teeny bit of Chinese, a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit of Arabic. And... Um, yeah, I love it. So don't feel bad about having an extra uh, career, other things. And actually, to put icing on the cake, Take Six, who is one of the best acapella groups of all time, hands down, and one of the most awarded groups of all time. I think they have a record for like the most Grammy Awards for uh, ensemble. But a lot of them are engineers, doctors, they have like for real <laughs> um, experience and careers and, and skills outside of music. So it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a normal thing, but I think it is. It's more normal than you would think um, for people in the creative world to have other streams of income. So anyways, <laughs> getting to my video today. Um, what is normal? That term, like every word in any language, was a word that was created to try and describe something to the best of, excuse me, his or her ability, whoever created the word. And I really believe that there's no such thing as normal. I'll tell you why. In terms of human beings, we all have very different ways of doing every single thing. Um, and we have very unique qualities to our chemical makeup, 
ourselves um, and that is expressed in the thousands, millions, billions of different uh, ways that we all look. We all have different colors and different facial features, different types of hair, different um, accents, different types of uh, voices, different body shapes. Everything about every single person is very, very unique. Even with identical twins, if you look closely enough, you can even tell that there are things about them that are very different from the other. So I'm saying all that to say, on a very deeper spiritual level, we are all very different as well. <clears throat> we all have different abilities, different ways of thinking about things, different ways of processing things. And I'm saying this to say, don't ever feel that you're weird. Um, because actually weird is normal. <laughs> we're all different. We're all unique. We're all special. We're all awesome in our own individual way. So all the images we get from media and from companies will make you think that you're like icky <laughs> because their product is the solution to you feeling like you're great. If you buy that Versace, you're going to feel like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> you know, it's uh, a dream. It's an image. It's um, propaganda that they're selling to you. If you can be convinced that you're not good enough as you are, then you'll always be reliant upon this company and that company's product. And that's kind of the key to keeping people buying your stuff, <laughs> is to make them feel that they'll always need it. So I'm saying that to say, you are good enough just as you are. You're amazing. And you are normal. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.